Good morning, dear students. In the previous lesson, we learned about the various early computing devices from the history of computers. Today, we are going to know about the generations of computer. So first, we have to know what is generation of computer. You all know the technology is developing day by day. So, the development in the technology of computer system is normally discussed as the development over different generations. Initially, the generation term was used to distinguish between varying hardware technologies. But nowadays, generation includes both hardware as well as software, which together make up an entire computer system. In the earlier times, the computer were very huge and costly. They also get very heated up easily. At that time, we need to use AC to make it cool. But with the advancement in computer technology, the today's computer not only becomes faster but also compact. For example, our smartphones. As per the technology, till date, it is divided into five different generations. The first generation computer. This is mainly developed in between of 1946 and 1959. They use vacuum tube based technology. Then it comes the transistor based technology and this generation is called second generation of computer. Computers developed between 1959 and 1965 are called second generation computers. Then the technology changed and IC are introduced. IC stands for integrated circuits. This is the third generation and it lies between 1965 to 1971. The next generation of computer is the fourth generation. It lies between 1971 to 1980. It used microprocessor where many ICs are integrated together. It used the technology called VLSI microprocessor. VLSI stands for very large scale integration. The VLSI microprocessors are still used in our PCs. The next generation is the fifth generation which started to develop from 1980 till now. It used ULSI microprocessor based technology where ULSI stand for ultra large scale integration. Now let's study about them one by one. The period of first generation of computer was from 1946 to 1959. These computers used vacuum tubes as their basic components for memory and circuitry for CPU. These tubes are like electric bulbs. Because of thousands such bulbs are used, they produced a lot of heat and the installation used to fuse frequently. Therefore, they are very expensive to use and only large organizations are able to afford it. In this generation of computer, punch cards, paper tape and magnetic tape are used as input and output devices. The computers in this generation used machine language that is 0 and 1. Now, the main features of these first generation computers. Number one, they used vacuum tube technology. Number two, magnetic drums were used for storage. Number three, they supported only machine language. Number four, as they are too bulky in size, they require large rooms for installation. Number five, 
they are non movable from one place to another as they are very used number 6 these computers are very costly and generate a lots of heat number 7 they consumed a lot of electricity and number 8 these are very huge in size as large numbers of vacuum tubes were used in single computer now take a look on some examples of first generation computer this is eniac electronic numerical integrator and computer okay. the next one is edvac it stands for electronic discrete variable automatic computer one more popular example of first generation computer is univac one the full form of univac is universal automatic computer now let's talk about second generation of computer the second generation of computers saw the use of transistors instead of vacuum tubes transistors were widely used in computers from 1959 to 1965 transistors were smaller than vacuum tubes and allowed computers to be smaller in size faster in speed as well as cheaper to build in this generation of computer assembly language and high level programming languages like fortran cobol were used now let's talk about the main features of second generation computer they are smaller in size as compared to the first generation computer they use transistors high level languages were developed during the second generation period magnetic disk and magnetic tapes were used as secondary memory punch cards were still used for giving input to the computers here batch processing and multi programming operating systems are used example of second generation computers are IBM 1400 series IBM 1600 series Univac 3 CDC 1604 etc in this figure you can see the IBM 1401 which is a IBM 1400 series computer This image is of Univac 3 which is also a second generation computer. The next is CDC 1604. You can see the sizes of this computer how they are huge. But still smaller from the first generation computers. So that's all for today's class. So what we learned today? The first and second generation of computer in details including their features and examples now complete these two set of practice questions fill in the blanks and answer the following questions in your notebook stay safe have a nice day bye